side. You hear the AC unit running. I got some tables here. So we got some next steps going on. And uh, I figured what better than to, of course, always bring you guys in here with me. Fans still running. Why? Because of the smell. Booyah, we're coming in. But this time we're coming into a room. Ah, it's at 60 degrees. Here it's 72% humidity. On here I got it down to about 65. 64. It's amazing how the room is just slowly changing with the humidity level. So, of course, what I'm doing here right now, guys, is uh, we got a screen's getting ready. Yeah, 90 or 110 or 200. Yeah. And this is how we come into the room. You're going to like this. Of course, Endomax. I'm going to support that light that works so well for me, right? You know what? So, um, I have a chair I sit on. Why? So I can kind of do this. Ready for it? Oh yeah. That's how we come into this room. We circle around, we come and take a look. You see how well these plants have just slowly started. See that they kind of curling around the edge there to protect that outer layer of trichomes. So as you can see, you can see that that's exactly what I'm looking for. And this is just starting to get crunchy on the outside. This is an eight day hang so far, we're on day eight. And just looking amazing. Day seven, sorry, seven day hang. And it's about talking about first bounce, guys. Here's the Gropita one in the middle with the other two ones. They can see how the small ones, they actually develop quite nicely. The bigger one was a little airy. Well, that's because I, dr I dried it out and it got really stressed out, but it did finish off, so we'll take it better and talk more about that. We can take a look at on this side here. These are the LED lights in the middle, how they're carrying up really nice. I always say that uh, when the room comes in, you can see the difference right away after about a couple days. And then we got the Gavita ones right here. So there we go. Kind of hardened up. Gavita on this side. You know, these first fire Gavita going right up to this plant right here. That's that Gavita that broke off on the top there. And then followed by the one in the middle. So I could definitely feel, you know what? These are nice buds. I can feel them. Nice, nice buds. I'm not enough squishing them. I think they're getting a little shiny. Now let's come over here to the 315s. Very similar. Yeah, but we're getting at the point right now where those trifones are starting to fall off. And I'm putting tables in here. We're going to start harvesting this resin. We'll start talking more about the harvest and uh, more about this final cure with bulbit and what I'm doing. Carrying a room is a little bit hard with these 320 gram totes. I mean, packages, I should say. But uh, I thought about it, I was gonna put a couple in here. I'm like, well, I run an AC unit. I run a complete sealed room. So I already got a built-in system for myself. Now with you guys, we're gonna come out here, we're gonna talk more about curing with the bulbit. Uh, using the bigger packs for the bigger amounts of weed where I can put them into totes and then throw the 320 gram curing box into a tote along with up to three to five pounds. So a couple kilos, so that's kind of the idea with the 320 gram curing box. Uh, then we got the 67 gram, 60 gram, 62%. I'm gonna get some lower humidity ones because I really want to crisp this up for dry sifting. So we have a chat with the guys from Boveda Inc. And of course, you know, they're sending me out some stuff because we talk more about Boveda and then what we can do with the product. So, um, you know what, as always representing what I love the most, Got to give it up to the 315s. Got to give it up over here to the plasma light. We got the Gavitas, and of course, we're rocking the LED as always, just so we can kind of view in here and do what we're doing. So we're gonna put some tables in here now. We got our tables. We'll just slide them in here nicely. We can kind of just kind of swoop by, it's like Matrix style, coming on in here, and uh, we'll just get right in here, guys. So uh, we'll start talking more about screening first bounce and what we can do to uh, get what we're looking for here. So now that we've got the tables in here, we're back to the green light. And you can see we're getting ready for first bounce. That's pretty cool, guys. This is how I harvest my resin. I put screens directly underneath that we've done over here. I'm gonna get some more and we'll get right over top and we'll just let those fall directly onto the screens. First bounce, harvesting your resin.
definitely coming very soon. As you can see, we've marked off our LEDs. You guys get an idea of how this whole system works. And oh yeah, just came in here, guys, and uh, we are on day eight of hang drying, and our humidity level is at 76%. So, 76, 76, and we're gonna scroll on over here. There you go, we're at 73. It's almost time for me to start adding both. I wanna get this down to 62%. Just starting to get a little bit, uh, get to where I want it to be. So I'm going to put a couple boxes in here. We're going to just do a test the one with these uh, curing boxes because I'm kind of curious, right? And uh, from there we'll put them into a tote. So that's going to be the finalizing of, of, of a little bit of that. We'll do the, we'll, we'll figure out exactly the weight that we want to do and what the boxes are cured by, by the bags to the 320 gram box to the 60 gram down to the 8 and of course the 4. So um, we're just definitely getting in here guys and uh, we're seeing how this whole thing is working. We see the humidity dropping slowly. We're getting it down to 62. That's the number we're looking for right now. So we're at we're, we're getting a 69% over here now. So slowly but surely, the last few days is where we're going to come in with Bovina. So not the beginning. So I always want to talk about that. And what I've been told and talked about is it's those last couple days of the critical days of curing, and that's where we always kind of make that, that mistake is we over dry it or we take it down it's too still too moist um so we're gonna we're gonna uh, get uh, right down to the end here guys so uh, here we go we're on uh, day nine uh i guess um, today is day nine of hand drying so that's awesome there you go so uh getting into the final steps Oh, and of course, I might as well talk about screens have now been installed. That's another key factor here, guys. We now have the screens, and we've now put in tables. So the tables have gone in. And uh, we're getting down to these final stages, and I should talk more even about that here now. But, but that's what we got going on now, is we have our tables installed. We have our screens starting to go underneath of our buds because we're going to talk about first bounce here and that will be our next steps and uh, we're just kind of getting into the end here of our uh, final steps of the 2017 grow your own grow in peace day 10 10 day hang i'm going to turn on the lights because i want to take you guys in there and show you what's going on so what's happening as always Oh yeah, I have the lights unplugged in here so it's green, which is even better, and you're gonna like it better. But when we first come in the room, we've got a bulb that's sitting right here now. Here it says we're at 72. Here it says we're at 66% humidity. It was down to 64% when I came in here earlier. But first things first, guys. Oh, I'm gonna sit in my chair and kind of go right underneath all of these buds. I'm gonna kind of walk over to the LED light here. Gonna plug that in, bam, there you go. We got our screens, and I got a smaller set of screens here that uh, Mark Bubbleman uh, sent me over. Uh, fresh headies, uh, you can check these out. I got a 200 micron and a 110, so I'm gonna show you these on these smaller buds over here. I just, not smaller buds, just, I got a smaller tray. I got a bigger one here, and then we got these ones here, but overall, guys, this room looks pretty fantastic. We're gonna plug her in. Boom. We're gonna get these up going and take a good look at what's going on inside of this room. Really happy to see how things have worked out. Now our humidity over here, see 62% at 59. So here's our curing and I'm curing, uh, well this is 10 days, we're down to 62%, 59.5 degrees in here. So that's what's happened with this. So these are just starting to get a little crunchy and crispy. Now the stock, it's still gooey, it's just not snapping yet. You wanna see that stock snap. So we're, just, we're at those stages right now, we're starting to sweat this. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually turning off the AC unit and seeing what uh, will sweat it out a tiny bit. 
So this has became very airy just the way this plant worked out because it dried out and then it kind of struggled. You could see exactly how this one main one did. Now this other Gropito ones, damn. They look fantastic, nice and hard nugs. So grown uh, without drying out, dried out. So there's a lesson right there. If you dry your plants and uh, they don't get proper feed, you now they wind up being airy, and I've seen this quite a bit with a lot of gardens and stuff like that. I mean, still really nice bud in there, but um, it's airy. So we see the the trichomes we get off of that. We're going to be uh, a little water hash the whole plant. I was going to do fresh frozen, but we in the freezer. Had to go buy some food. So, anyways, guys, um, LED light coming in right here. This is the Endomax. These are the smaller ones. Here's the LED grow. Definitely take a look. And this the stalk is just it's just bendable. So we definitely want to start curing this properly. But we're at the stages right now that we can actually start cutting it down. We'll do our first bounce trick here. Get some epic resin. We'll talk about first bounce. We're gonna put the camera right down there, give you a close-up look of watching it fall. We did this in the past. So you know what? Um, grow your own guys and you can get this type of medicine, which is awesome. And you know the best part about everything is is well hey. It's yours, when it's yours, it becomes the best. And harvesting and being able to uh, get your own medicine and make your own, it's just one of those things that you love to do. Those last close up shots, I got a little bit of blurry. I might have to get myself a 4K camera one day. Well, that's kind of a nice little look. You can see exactly how everything worked out there. Now I want to use the bovida. We can talk about the bovida. We can talk about the 320 gram curing boxes. We can talk about the ones we use for probably like half pounds and pounds. This is more like a couple pounds. Like I said, I want to use this in the room. So why not sit here right now with you guys and talk more about what bovidas can do. So I'm really curious. You know, I know they have some links to their videos and stuff like that. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. We'll talk about two-way humidity control and 62% humidity. So, I mean, that's what I'm kind of looking at right now is 62%. That Bovida is that answer. There are other products that are on the market, but uh, this is the one that seems to be working, and that's what I like. So, actually opening these up in a sealed room that's AC. I'm having some fun. We're definitely gonna do some curing with the bovida. We're gonna have fun to get a better look at this. They come in a box, inside this box. I've never actually truly opened up this box before. It's all sealed completely. So I'm gonna leave it sealed. 330 grams, there you go. I'm gonna put these in the room, just like that. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna put one right here. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna start trimming this room up. And I'm going to put these into a bin with, say, uh, half of it with the uh, Endomax and the other half with Gavita. So we'll do half this room here with the Bovida and the other half will be just normal. Um, and uh, the LED I'm going to leave alone. Uh, with these ones here on the end, well, we'll do a smaller one and we'll do it with this one here. So we'll give it a chance. We'll see how it is. Now the best part about this, guys, now... Last year, Matt Tainer and Bovidon went to the Legend Valley Music Festival. It happened on the Chicago Valley, um, up in Duncan, BC. It was pretty amazing. And, and we did a bio cup, and we used these new two-way humidity packs. We put them in every sample. Well, I was just with the guys from um, the bio cup again yesterday, and we were going over, and they had about a dozen of the bags left over from last year's judging. And uh, they're like, the weed's like even better. I go, what? He goes, yeah, like it's been in there for almost like eight, nine months and, you just, like, and they pulled it out and we smoked a couple. Wow. I mean, that's what that's about right there. So you know what? We're definitely going to be at the Legends Valley Music Festival again this year, 2018, 2017. Wow, I'm just kind of behind. I'm looking at 2018 because that's when they're going to legalize cannabis. So I keep thinking I'm in 2018 because, well, I'm growing my own, right? But uh, long story short, Legends Valley Music Festival, the Bio Cup happening August 23rd to the 27th in the Chicago Valley. Uh, it's going to be a pretty amazing lineup there. Um, you definitely have to check that out. And in the Bio Cup, once again, we're going to standardize that cup with both of the 62%, and uh, we're going to keep doing that for those guys. And uh, and and seeing that eight, nine months later, and the cannabis beans just so much, just it's just like fresh, like it was just cut down. That's a pretty cool little thing.
we're gonna be doing that with this here right now and that's why I'm super excited but uh, of course I'm into uh, the rosining so 62% seems to work really well for squishing I'm also into the dry sift so I want to get that even down here and get it into a more of a crisper uh, we'll talk all more about that but uh, let's get back right in here guys let's get these screens open we'll talk more about the bovina we'll talk more about 62% humidity and how that works so well for me and for a lot of other people actually so that's pretty cool anyways guys uh, let's get right in here and let's get this mountain let's get some sugar off Sifty of that Sunday I'm so looking forward to Sifty Sunday guys let's go in here and uh, right away we're gonna kind of turn on this stuff right here see I got this all set up pretty nicely and stuff like that so we're coming in here we're at 64 percent humidity look at that so, as we start, we got the chair here. I kind of like to come in here with you guys together. And on this side over here, we're at 60% humidity. We got these boxes, they, they have kind of not changed at all, really. Just kind of more, uh, just settle. Seem a little bit harder. Which is interesting. They're a lot more jellier yesterday and today they're just a little bit more firmer. So I guess it's doing its job but it's kind of working. Uh, that's a thumbs up. I'm just kind of curious. You know, I just want to put them into the room itself. I'm totally going to into maybe more of a tote. And throw this in the tote with like a couple up to a couple kilos. Uh, so maybe a pound or two. Um, and how I'm going to kind of get into this. But right now we're going to talk about first balance and trimming these buds. So I'm gonna plug in the LED light. We're gonna put the camera here. We're gonna do this together. I'm gonna to show you, try and do a macro shot in between. And um, I did this before on harvesting. Uh, do, do some old videos on uh, bags of shui from diamonds and gold, and I showed some of the, the tricones falling. So I put a black background in behind it. Some of my older videos. But I'm kind of kind of show you a few different things on how I can uh, get my medicine here in the very beginning, and I just take a look at uh, just a few different. Uh, you can already see there's been a little bit of uh, dusk falling off of that. So you can see I put the screens on it, we cleaned it off. So as they're just hanging here, we can just see some of the contaminants lying on the top of that screen. So there's some cool stuff. So I'm going to get the camera going in here, guys. And uh, let's get into uh, first bounds, harvesting your resin. This is where the growers can get the most epic gland heads, in my opinion. It's like that, that, that best fruit off that apple tree. Or, you know, I'm talking about that, that, that fine fruit. Oh, this is what I like to say. My first bounce is where I love to get what I get. So let's get into this, guys. That's what we're looking for there, guys. 62%. Time to get this going. It's that time. It's my favorite time. It's what we all been waiting for. And I'm super, super, super excited. Why? Well, you know, I, I kind of got these little things that I do at the end. And, uh, you know, one thing was, is, well, I hooked up these screens. So I've actually set up my screens, guys. You're going to have to check this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to be filming this. And I'm going to show you how... <clears throat> the resin drops between the screens. So I actually put a black garbage bag in behind there, and you're gonna be able to see it. We got the 110 and the, then the 200, and on the 90 on top. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun, and uh, we're gonna get right into first balance. I hope this isn't a little too choppy. I'm kind of having some fun with you guys, like always, showing you what I love to do. And this is like the best time and my favorite time. The first bounce, the first resin, the first drop hits the screens. Now normally I do a 110 and 200, but Mark gave me this 90 screen. So I'm gonna go 90, 110, 200. And then over here, we have our two little screens. I'm gonna go back to my old school 110 and 200 just to see if there's any difference really in the melting factor. I'm just curious. So, you know what? Why not give it a shot? So, as always, I'm getting ready to with you guys. I need the gloves. That's important. Without gloves, my hands get way too sticky. So, and uh, I went and grabbed a new pair of uh, my uh, scissors, TB Naturals. Thanks, guys. They totally hooked me up with enough scissors to probably last me the next 10 years. I gave away a bunch, but you know what? How many real pairs of scissors do you need? I, I figured one every two years, five pair, 10 years, good to go. Having fun. Chair's a little squeaky. So first bounce, it's really easy, guys. I'm going to just get right in here. It's like, boom. And I get it in pieces. So for me, we're going to do... Seven plants that were over top of the one, the, 
the ceramic metal highlights, the endo maxes, and we're going to do the seven plants from the Gavita. Actually, we got two, four, six, eight, so it was eight and eight, so the room was split in that way. So that's what I figured we'd do, give us an idea of how much we can get. So really, make my life easy. I've turned everything off so you can actually see what I'm doing here. And I just kind of do each individual plant so that comes off quite nicely. I'm really happy with that. At this point, I'm not really trying to protect the cherry clones. So the ones that I'm grabbing are like, oh, don't worry about it. It's going into me sooner or later. This is what I kind of want to do. So down to this end part here. Now always be careful. I've dropped my scissors through the screens before. Don't really like doing that. So now you can take a look at what we're going on here now. You can see how it's just kind of hit the screen. So it's like, boom, first bounce. It's really exactly what we're talking about. It's that first bounce when it hits the screen. Now, this is more or less the brown leaves that I didn't want. So these are the ones we'll be picking off when we're doing the pre trim. So you can see exactly how these buds are being protected and how tight they are. So it kind of gives you a really good idea. Taking a good look at how the lighting is here, guys. I apologize, but you know what? We'll get you right in here and show you. So this is pretty much how I started. I just kind of bounce everything off the screen. Then from here, I do a quick little trim. That's going to go into my little bin here of bovida. So then we're going to keep a few of these with the bovida. So half the room I'm going to cure with bovida. The other half, we're not. This becomes garbage. Kind of slide over it. <clears throat> you pretty much see what we're doing here. So I'm going to kind of get this all nicely trimmed off. Pretty easy, guys. Can't wait to make some hash from this also. So we're going to get into doing some hash. We're going to do uh, different types of methods. Bubble hash is what we're talking about here right now. We can do that from the trim. Maybe I'll take some of these top buds and uh, make some nice hash. And rest my hands on here. You can see I got everything set up at my level. Now, some people like to use the trim bins. They kind of work similar, but not the same because these screens are a lot more finer. And the trim bins just the one screen. This is kind of a three type system that I'm using, so I can kind of separate what I'm looking for. Get exactly what I want. This is so nice and sticky and smells amazing. I guess I can only do so much of this. I'm going to do this first like plant, see what I'm doing here. Get, and get it all cleaned up. Then I'm going to continue doing this whole room. It might probably take me a whole damn day. So, as you can see, I'm getting them all nice small buds. I don't have too much stock in there now. There's too much moisture still in that stock, so this is how it's gonna finally cure. So right now it, it just, oh, that snaps. That's like the perfect cure. We don't wanna hear that snap. When we hear a snap, we know it's ready. So as always, I know when my stuff's ready. So I'm kinda of getting in here. I kinda of move things around. I'm gonna show you the screen size once we get this all on here, because as you can see, I'm gonna try and lower this and see if we can actually see everything falling. So, you know what? I'm going to get you guys right in here and have some fun. This was the whole idea behind this. And uh, I kind of zoom you in and let's see if we can see some stuff falling. So, now I'm curious, and I'll get to view this later. But right now, it's actually still pretty sticky. It's a good time for most people when they would actually do the trim. For me, I like to have it a little... Oh, wow, it smells amazing. Just doing that, and then the, the, the aroma just opened up. So, pretty much, kind of bounce this over my screens. It'd be cool if we could see what we're looking for in there. You can actually see the trichomes bouncing off the screens. Kind of like, oop. oop. And I can definitely see it sitting on top of here right now. So we're going to kind of move this off to the side. I'm going to do another couple plants here. 
We're going to do the whole room and then we're going to harness to see what goes underneath because there's going to be that much at the beginning. This is probably only about two ounces of weed. Looks like we're getting about an ounce per plant. Have to get on top of that. We'll get a scale and we'll get an idea of what we're getting for the plant uh, on certain, maybe different parts of the room between the LED, uh, the Gavita, and the Endomax. So, I'm pretty sure that was pretty rough on the come up here. Sorry about that. But there you guys go. We got that just sitting there, and that's like looking just perfect. So it's not like I'm like bouncing these off of screens or raping these things. You can see a good look at exactly how much sugar is just on there. You can see how that's looking just kind of fantastic in there. I guess I say fantastic a lot because I'm always feeling fantastic now, guys. Whoa. So there you guys go. Now you can see just if there's anything in here. I don't know if there is or not yet. But we're definitely, I can see some stuff on that screen. And you can see the different levels. So I'm happy actually I have the different screens and I can see a little bit down there too. So definitely first bounce. Can't wait till we get this all done, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting this down and bouncing it just on the screen. I'm gonna trim this little bit of leaf off of that and then I'm gonna put it away. So that's basically what I'm doing and we're gonna continue doing what we're doing here. I'm gonna show you on the different with just the two screens, but now seeing this here right now, I'm definitely gonna to wanna to go and get that third screen, maybe even four. Maybe we'll do the 60, 90, 110, 200. So we're gonna come back with that. We'll show you on the smaller scale. We'll do four plants. Four plants for Canada coming off. So why don't we do four plants on on the small screens? You know, get ready for uh, every household to have four plants in Canada. I'm looking forward to that too. So here you guys go, and uh, we're gonna keep doing what we love to do. We'll get this all done. My dehu turning on. I, there is a dehu in here. So I'm pretty much just getting all these tops down here, like this down, as you guys can see, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm cutting all these tops down. I'm putting them on top of the screens like this. So pretty much, I mean, how do I do this? Kind of just get in behind. You can see right here. Just give it a little kind of trip. Like I'm not cutting the whole stock, so you can just see right inside of here. Just kind of kind of easy way of just getting it off the buds off the stick. I don't really like taking them off the hand. Some people rip them this way, and then if you tear it this way. It's gonna tear up and you're gonna squish it. I don't like that. So I prefer just to kind of clip it off and always going up instead of down. It makes life easier. So just kind of giving you that little, what I do here, little tip, I guess. Who knows? Maybe some people might not know how to do this, right? That's why I'm showing you what I love to do. Like, wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Like, um, Pretty excited about that. So you know what? I just kind of wanted to get in here and show you this different part here and what we were doing and just kind of, you know, always showing you what I love to do, how I do it, the reasons why. So it makes it a lot easier just to cut it off the plant like that and then I can kind of slowly trim it on the screens here. So it's kind of how I'm getting it harvesting and as we slowly get that bounce underneath, we have the different levels. And we can kind of put the camera down here again. Kind of show you the levels of what's going on here. And uh, catch a little bit of first bounce. So kind of move you right up inside. Give you a zoom in. And I'm curious. And we can see what's going on here. So I'm just going to slowly break this off and uh, then I will uh, do my first little trim here. We 
you can kind of hear the, the buds hitting the, the screen. It's kind of all I'm doing. It's going to have some music playing in the background or something. But I can't because most stuff is copyrighted. I'd sing for you guys, but that probably won't work out too well. So as I'm kind of slowly doing this on the top here, I'm hoping we're seeing some track holes dropping through on the bottom. So it gives us an idea of what we're seeing. How much we're actually losing when you're trimming. So just imagine most people don't trim over screens. So this is your fresh crop. You just cut it down. And you don't have screens. You never have really used screens. Then you watch this video and you realize, what the bleepity bleep have I been doing? Yeah, you're losing the best of the best right now. That's why I like to harvest over screens because I know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not after these big, huge, heavy buds. I'm after the nice trichrome. So, as you can see, it's a little time consuming because we do uh, do this properly. We want to take our time. We spent over a, over a 12 days. Well, is that uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Day 11 right now, hang drying. We're sitting at a really good percentage. 62% is when I basically had the room down to. Then I turned the dehue on and trimmed, tightened her up a little bit more so she's a little bit more crispier so I can do this little harvest here. Got my temperatures up right now. We're up about uh, 65 degrees because I turned the AC unit off. So I like to harvest around 63 degrees. Kind of what I've always been doing. I can't wait to see what we find on the bottom screen on top of the 200 underneath the 110. This is the 90 screen I'm working off of right now just in case you haven't set up maybe more than once or twice. Be really cool and interesting to see exactly the yields we get uh, between uh, all three different lighting that went on in this room. I'm kind of curious. Uh, I'm really seeing this Endomax nice and tight resiny. Um, that's why I started with this one here. I was really kind of curious. Plus, uh, it's where the best lighting was for filming because uh, the Vitas don't really film that well. So we'll probably move all of the weed from the Gavitas over to this side to do the filming. I'm pretty much going to go through these eight plants, get this all done up. Then move on to the Gavita eight plants. Then I got two, four, five, six plants that are underneath the LED directly in reality. The LED doesn't cover as much space in reality, the old ones, but I think the new ones have a bigger uh, footprint. What I've seen with Brandon and on his stuff. So now I'm just dropping the direct buds from the other plant, as you can hear it, onto the screen. Gives you an idea. I can see it falling off the plant as I'm trimming it. Like, like really, like this one here on the edge is just like coated. Now this one here was probably more of the Gavita and LED. And the Endomax, this one particular plant. Like, wow. I'm gonna bring it up and just show you. So this one here was pretty much just over all three lights. And looking just amazing in there. Just beautiful, really, really liking that, as you can see. So, there you kinda go. Kinda really getting a good look at it. I'm hoping we're seeing what we wanna see under here. Clipping you back in. Maybe we'll drop down to the next screen and see if we can see it going through all of the screens. I might have to lower my tripod a little bit more for that. Get this right underneath here for you guys. So this is what's going through and landing underneath the 200 screen. And this is exactly the screen that I'm trying to harvest underneath it right now. So as we go through that one. So this is on top of the 200 underneath the 100. So this is where the magic is. This is the magic that we're looking for. And... Uh, I'm curious. I'm really. I mean, we're not looking for a lot. I'm not like 
heavily grating this over screens and trying to rape everything off. Like I said, this is just that first bounce, the first tricone, that first developed resin head that's on the outside there that's just waiting to fall off. Quite a few have probably blown off and have uh, fallen off during the curing process, of course. So. But there we guys go. Now the question is, Wow, this looks fantastic. You can already see there's about a pound there. So, um, just by how I've been doing this, and I can tell how much is on the screens. And uh, that makes me very happy knowing that I'm probably going to get a, at least probably about a pound and a half off of that one light. In reality, by just taking a good look at how this whole thing has come. So, there you guys go. See the whole corner of that? That's a good couple bags full. Oh, that's like a bag there. That's getting into another bag, so that's about a pound and a bit. I was going to say, coming off of that one light right there. And we're slowly harvesting under here and seeing what we got. I can definitely see some sand under there. So hopefully we got some good coverage of seeing how that happened there. We're going to continue doing what we're doing here. And then we're going to show us cleaning up underneath this screen here, guys. So we'll clip you in and uh, we'll just continue doing what we're doing. Okay, guys. You know, pretty much what I'm doing here now is I'm just kind of going through some of these brown leaves and moving them off, chucking them off the side. Moving this around a little bit. And kind of underneath here, you're going to see all the mess. I'm going to start kind of cleaning this a little bit. And there will be different stages of me cleaning this. So when we first kind of just drop off the plant, we've got a lot of the brown leaves fall off. So I've kind of taken a look underneath and seen how great the 90 is. So like I said, I want to use the, the 60, the 90, and the 120. I kind of just grab these buds off the top. Beautiful buds, by the way. I mean, beautiful. Wow, this smells amazing in here. I had to turn on the filters because, uh, of course, um, the neighbors are home. Don't want to reek out the neighborhood. So, order control is really important. Make sure you have order cans going. Make sure you have cans. Make sure that you're actually filtering the air. So this way you don't have the smell. Because a lot of people do complain about that. So, uh, you know what? And also uh, poses risks. Some people, I don't know, I'm in Canada and I'm a medical grower. I got a small little grow. I'm not too worried about anybody breaking in here doing anything. But I mean, smell is a key factor in uh, you know letting the world know that hey, I just took down my crop. So getting the proper charcoal filter fans. I use uh, GP filters um, and they work great. Activated charcoal and uh, wow, you know what? I'm able to keep the smell down. Uh, no one ever knows what I'm doing and uh, I guess everybody knows online. But I mean. Unless my neighbors are watching me, I guarantee you can't smell this. So, just kind of going through here, grabbing the top off. Like I said, kind of moving this around. Kind of cut down the four plants. Got you an idea what's here. Like I said, there's over a pound here. You can just tell by looking at it, but we're definitely going to weigh it and uh, get a good look at what's there. It might be just a pound. You know what? I'm not going to stuff the bag full. So, not only my bags aren't like stuffed. So I might get like, you know, three bags out of this little deal here by the looks of it. You can see these are more of my smalls as I'm filtering through this and grabbing the bigger buds off the top. Now the popcorn buds, we can use that great for making water hash. So I'll probably pull all these small little baby buds and I'll kind of more like get that into making a little bit of water hash. So that's all the small stuff I'm going to have left over here once we do our next final trim. So this is different stages of trimming. So we have our first stage of first bounce, cleaning it up. 
and moving things over and cleaning up the screen, then we get to our final trim before we're going into our curing stages. So this is just what I do, and I don't know what everybody else does, but uh, this seems to work really good for me. It's what I like doing. So that's what I'm always showing you. I do different stages of this. Of course, using the screens. And uh, if you want to know what screens you get them on, I get mine from Fresh Eddies. So uh, definitely check that out if you're looking for these type of screens. They have different sizes, different mesh counts. So depending on what you're looking for, you can probably pick them up from there. And you can actually grab meditators from there if you want to use that for separating your screens because it's such a great height. That's what I like to do. So, there you go. And as you can see on the bottom here now, this is kind of like more of the stuff that I don't want. I've taken a lot of these little small foam buds and I've thrown them already into the pile. So that's going to be that next stage of getting this all nice and ready. And by the way, I'm smoking this. This is all for me. This is me making hats. This is me dry sifting. This is me doing everything. So if I'm manhandling this, I'm wearing gloves and it's mine. That's going to be for hashing. Right there, slowly getting that off to the side. That's going to make some epic hash. Like epic. Really, really happy to get into that. Wow. So. There you guys go. Those are those eight plants that grew directly underneath the Endomax. My hands are sticky. This camera's sticky. So there you guys go. It gives you a really good look at how much is there. Those are small screens, so that's like filling those up completely. We got our resin here going through. We're going to continue trimming this up here, get this all right down into the next step. It's just that final little trim to getting this all nice up. All these small little pieces. I'm making my own medicine, so those are all coming out of here. I'm saving some of those bigger buds for squishing, stuff like that. I mean, these, these are great here. So we're going to go through all this and clean this up really nicely. And uh, next step, guys. Okay, guys, so we just worked on the four screens with the eight plants. And well, I'm a medical license, so I have like more than enough plants. Um, but let's just say it's 2018, we got legal cannabis in Canada, and you're allowed to have four plants. Well, 100 centimeters, 30 inches, I think that's what it is. I mean, that's, I don't know, I'm pretty sure those are bigger. So I have not measured it, but roughly around this size, right? Well, I'm going to use the smallest screens. Now, in the beginning, we had the 60 and the 90, and we used to call this a trick. And we learned this from, uh, Another guy online, can't think of his name right now, but he had a little tech, you know, you, you dump your weed on here, you kind of run with it really that, and what falls on top of this is just blind heads. It's really nice, but we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of do a little bit of something different. We're doing our first bounce, so I'm going to, I don't really have to have this screen, I'm eliminating this. Let's say you got a little bag of the sugar leaf that we have over there. I'll show you that trick with the 60 and the 90, but we're past that point with this, so I'm doing the same old, same old. I'm flipping my screen around because I like to work on it like a little bin. Mark says, like, oh, you got to do it this way. Um, this way that I, it works for me. Um, I don't like putting it on the top. I kind of put my little maintainer separator in here. Set this up in here like this. The last ones I've taped together. But these ones are a lot smaller, a lot easier to work with. I'm not resting my hands on them. I'm going to get right in here, guys. And I'm going to kind of do the same little thing here. I'm going to hit the first bounce on here, clean up, and I'm going to collect those resins underneath. And see what we get from these four plants. This is kind of more at this side of the room. I'm trying to understand if we kind of cut this down the way this whole room is. So these are the ones in the middle right here. The one, two, where I you can see the lights on this side, the two, four, six, eight. It had the middle, then I had the ones directly underneath the LED right here. So trying to space where these four plants were directly new. So it's more on the end on this side. So we're going to get right into doing this. You've seen me do it over here. I don't need to show you doing it over here, but just showing you the smallest screen sizes and what you can. So if you don't need, oh, I don't have a big crop wall. Hey, when you got four plants, that's all you need is a little mini screen. So uh, once again, I'm going to keep doing what I love to do. I'm going to get on working on this side. I'm going to kind of go back and forth. I don't want to finish off the video about the screen sizes, what we're doing, the first bounce. I'll show you the end results when we do the eight plant. Then I'm going to move on to Gavita and do those eight plants and we do the end results there and kind of get a rough idea. You know, kind of give it a fair shot of what I feel was the best lighting in the room and what gave me the best medicine. So we're going to get right back over here, guys. And uh, well, we'll see you over here. Okay guys, what I'm kind of doing here right now is because I'm basically making hash with all these small pieces over here, I'm separating everything. 
A lot of these sugar leaves in here, you crack these off and it's just full of resin on the inside. So basically I'm doing a little fine trim on the bigger buds. All these smaller buds I'm just kind of throwing over here. Um, and then I'm doing my sifting and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of cleaning this up and separating what I want to do because these buds here are perfect for squishing. This is great buds for rosin. So I'm going to be doing some rosining of course. So I'm getting those proper buds that I want that are perfect for squishing. As you can see what I'm kind of doing here and stuff like that. Oh, that's a perfect squish. That's a perfect squish. So I'm just getting these brown leaves off because I really don't want that. Uh, just a quick little trim on those. Now that, any of these smaller ones that have brown leaves, that's fine. They can go right on my hash because it's going to be in water anyway. So just a quick trim. You know, I'm not doing anything else with this than making my medicine with it. So it's kind of going through what I'm doing. I'm doing the separating process of what I want to do with my buds and how I want to actually use this as a whole plant medicine, right? So kind of just getting in there, doing the cleaning up on it and then how I'm going to start storing this and curing this and that will be the stages with the bovina and uh, talk more about maybe if I want to cure maybe if a couple pounds of it with the vinegar packs I might do that depending on exactly what I'm going to do here and what how I'll be able to change well not change how I'm separating everything I should say and a lot of this stuff I'm going to put right said right into hash so be kind of nice so that's what we're doing guys just kind of going through here getting these big leaves off now this here well, I've, I'll show you different types of hash. I know I have these little popcorn bud hash. I'm going to have the leaf hash over here. And I'm going to have the smaller buds. I'm going to make all kinds of different things here. But just kind of making my stages and showing the different piles and how I'm separating these particular eight plants. And of course, I'm working over here on the smaller plants. And I'm doing the same thing on these plants. Okay, guys. So I'll um, be working away. We have small screens going on here. We trimmed up the four plants here. And I started putting them into bags and separating that in particular. And we can see where we got underneath that first little, wow, look at the shimmer in there. That looks amazing. So we're going to do that. Oh. And what we really want to see is the ones underneath there. But we're going to get to that because we're going to talk about this little separation right here. Oh, a little bit of a tease. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, you know, what I've done here right now is this here is all going to be made some really nice bubble hash. Okay, that's a good bubble hash run. This is also going to be a bubble hash run with trim. So I'm going to see the difference between this and that. And just, just do the yields and just kind of the different resin gland. I'm just kind of curious. I'm pretty sure Mark's done this quite a bit. This here is for rosin. Pure rosining. All these buds are perfect size for rosin. Oh, that's a nice big one. That's a chunk. Oh. We got chunks right here, though. These are our chunks. So now I'm looking at these tops. Now look at these tops here. We're going to line these up with the Gavitas. This is under the Endomax, basically in the LED. Most of these are mostly Endomax, sorry. The LED is directly over here. But I mean, this looks amazing. This is a one part grown bloom, Medi one. Just completely killing it, guys. You know what? I mean, if you really take a good look at this, there's lots of sugar on this. So, you know what? I, I didn't know. All I've done is trim over top of these screens. As you can see, there's lots of resin in there. These buds look fantastic. So, there you go. You can't really question or say anything about this not looking like fantastic. Like, this bud here is rock hard. Like, rock hard. Like, rock hard. Amazing. Just smells amazing full of crystal and that's like all of these here you can see all of these just lined up just like line them up and just see so that's on the AI so I'm gonna change this over to a manual I'm just kind of curious on the difference and then we'll go to the white balance and then I'm gonna do this with this light to see what you guys see so we're just playing right now with uh, the white balance and the manual on this. So that's number one. That's number two. So there you go. Now on this side here, like I said, this is the stuff we're going to use for rosining. And uh, this will be what we use. Whoa, this is what we use for dry sift. So I just want to do a couple different uh, little focuses. That's all. I was just having some fun with it there. So it kind of gives you a really good close look. What we're doing here 
Now we're gonna go back over to the manual. There we go. And now we're gonna take a good look under here. We're gonna kind of get the camera stand over here. We're gonna kind of move this over, and uh, we're gonna get right into the boom. There we go. So now is truly what we're looking at, and what we'll be all be waiting for. So. I've kind of taped these all together, but I left the bottom one off. So this makes my life really, 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 really easy. And as it stands right now, I'm going to kind of move it off to the side here. I'm going to grab the... You guessed that we're doing a bong rip with the first bounce. Taking all these nice top buds and we're going to put them over here, as you can see, and kind of just kind of working away here. One, two. Just kind of let them sit there. Now this room is at a perfect temperature. It's at 60 degrees. Humidity is at 57%, so it's kind of rocking it right now. So I'm kind of grabbing these top two screens off like this, moving this over. There you go. I don't know if you can really see it that well. But you can definitely see there's some resin on here. So, this is my favorite part about this. So, you know what? Got different cards for this. First things first. It's like sand. Alright. The most epic. Epic sound. Look at that, guys. That's what we're talking about. So, as I kind of do this, I'm going to kind of notch it back in over here. Now, only you can get this. Only the grower can get this. Only one person can get this type of resin. And that's only the guy that's cutting it down. Only the guy that's trimming it. This could only be tamed by the grower. So, we're going to show you the same thing with the four plants. Now, I'm just taking out the little particles because to me, this is like the best of the best here right now. And I always talk about the first bounce and just how awesome it truly is. Now, I'm super, super, super excited with this turn here right now we're kind of working away here together you're seeing this as I'm seeing it and it's not that much but I'll tell you right now it's the best of the best it is the whitest it is the cleanest it is the most epic resin that you can possibly Oh, get your hands on. Lots of fine contaminants in there. I'm trying to get them out. That's it there, guys. That is what I talk about all the time. So you got your resin sitting there, and you can see how beautiful that looks like. But look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Now that is what we want to see right there. Those are amazing. That is first bounce. That is something that we're talking about. That is what I love so much, guys. And uh, as always, we did it together. And that was pretty epic. So I'm going to show you we can get off the four plants. I'm working on this one right here. I really want to take some really epic pictures of that. So I'm going to kind of sign off and take a little, maybe get the, the zoom lens in there and take a really close look at it. But you can just see what the first bounce and how amazing it is. And all we did was trim our weed. You saw that. It was basically eight plants. It's not really not much, but that there. Well, okay. So let's set up the camera. Let's set up the screen. Let's show you how this melts. 
Let's get right down to business. Then we can kind of weigh out this, weigh out the weed that we have there. Talk about our yields. Look at the resins. We're gonna have some fun about judging these bulbs and these lights and, and this whole grow right now. So I mean, this is just the starting part of this whole end of the grow, the well, the harvest, the first bounce. To me, this is the best, the best, like the best of the best, not the best. I love it. Anyways, um, we're getting back in here, and uh, let's get this over here. I have to clean off that uh, screen first, I think. Okay, it wouldn't be the same if I didn't do the first hoot after doing the first bounce with you guys after the first grow I've grown since my surgery. So this is pretty awesome. Well, the first one that was successful, so let's just say that. Here we go. Now that melted like water, like water. Even though with a little bit on the side there. Okay, so pretty much you know what I'm doing now. I'm smoking that right there. And I'm gonna be back 